Okay, this is uh, the mini track loader. Um, originally, this one of these was posted by a Thingiverse user uh, called ZP or ZPI, uh, Z E D P I. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. And uh, this particular model is a, another make, a modification of it by a user R A A B six. Um, who uh, created one called Mini Track Loader Micro Server SG90 HXT900, which is a uh, SG90 is a slightly bigger servo, and uh, in my case, it uses uh, continuous rotation servos to make the tracks move, and I happen to already have some uh, SG90 continuous rotation servos, so I printed out this particular model. Um, I printed it with uh, yellow PETG for the body part. Here are the med or the two two halves of the body. Um, the black parts are all black PETG. This uh, shovel uh, attachment is uh, gray PETG. And this model also has a forklift attachment. Um, the tracks were printed with uh, Ninja Flex. The original model used a Lego. Uh, forget the number right off the top of my head, but a Lego track that came from some Lego kit. Well, I didn't have the Lego kit, and I, I couldn't find it online, so uh, I had to print it. But fortunately, the, uh, the ZP original uh, uh, one had a STL file for tracks if you wanted to print your own tracks, so it worked out pretty good. Um, it's very tiny. There's almost no room inside for anything but the servos, uh, so it's really difficult, to, I think, to put it together. Um, and a lot of the folks that uh, try to put it together, if you, if you look at the original builds on Thingiverse, there's tons of comments, a, a couple hundred comments, and a lot of people were having trouble putting it together. People had trouble figuring out exactly how to wire up the servo so you could control it, and um, some other stuff. So I'm going to follow up this video after uh, with a second video, a much longer video, where I'm going to take this apart and put it back together and talk about how it works and how to wire it up and I think I'll put together some instructions um, with maybe some pictures and stuff to help people out and uh, I'll post a make on Thinkiverse and then I'll post all that stuff to my my make so I'm really happy with it though even though it was a little little difficult to put together um, you know once you get it figured out I think it's worth the effort it's a lot of fun everybody who sees it loves it and wants one um, and uh, they're just a lot of fun to play with I think it's a really really amazing that uh, you know you can print toys like this RC toys with a 3d printer with a little bit of effort uh, and you can make this happen um, I happen to use a radio uh, the radio I use is this uh, hobby King radio this radio came with a receiver and the radio and it was $29 you could buy these on Amazon um, if you go to hobbyking.com you can get them and he's got a couple different brands that you could buy for that, that price and that's just a really good deal I mean you really can't beat that so here you can put together, you know, for for you know twenty or thirty bucks worth of servos and a thirty dollar radio, you can build a, an RC toy, and then you can use the same parts over and over again for different toys. So a lot of fun um, that I've had with it. So I hope you really enjoy that. Uh, I hope you, uh, if if anybody wants to print it uh, and make it, uh, just check out my other videos. Um, really appreciate everybody who watches my videos. Thanks again. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, until next time, thanks a lot.